Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Tis I, the one and only Archer with Archer Astrology. How are you? How you doing? It's time for another pick a car, pick a card reading with moi, where the card picks you. So how we do it here is we will take three different chariots, three different energies. You pick one. You should have already picked one, but I'll explain a little further. And then we will let spirit control the energies and the outcomes of said readings. So you have to pick from, we're going to go one, two, three. Okay. So one, pile one, you get to be Kit, the Night Industries 2000 from Night Rider. This is my energetical chariot. And then otherwise, if you decide to go with number two, the Osset Gypsy Tarot, you get to be the Batmobile. I'm Batman. I'm Archer. And then... If you decide to pick the Light Sears deck, my awesome little present from Goodman, then you have picked my real chariot, the White Jeep. So that is number three. And then I'll let you have a moment to pick, and then we will get into the three readings. So feel free to take a moment and go for it. Okay, that should be plenty long enough. So you've either picked Kit, Batmobile, or White Jeep. Cool. Now, much like how Spirit always does by inserting tower moments, be it good or bad, Eight of Swords style into life when um, us as human beings decide to free will all over its plans, um, we're going to do the same thing here by inserting some Eight of Swords for a couple tower moments, be them good or bad. All right, so we're going to take Kit, the Batmobile, and the White Jeep. Slide them on down, and now we're going to see where these really wind up. Here we go. No peeking. Oh, peeking. I said no peeking. Boom. We'll stop there. All right. Much like when I shuffle the cards... This is where I've intuitively been told to stop. These, when you picked Kit, the Batmobile, or the White Jeep, this is actually the deck those vehicles are supposed to be with. The deck Spirit has guided you to. All right? So deck number one is actually the Batmobile. You belong with the Crow Tarot. And the Austin Gypsy Tarot, number two, is Kit. So if you pick Kit, Spirit is guiding you. You were supposed to pick this deck. That's what Kit was meant to go to. And so that means the white Jeep stayed put. So try tested and true. Your intuition is on point. These ones are ready to go. So let's take a look and see what each of these have in store. Anyways, okay. Let's start with the Batmobile, which is actually the first pile. And see what we have in store for the Batmobile. All right. So let's take a look at who is looking at the Batmobile. Who is spying on you? Who is snooping? Who is checking you out? Who's got you living rent-free in their head, heavy on their mind? For the Batmobile. And we're going to tap into the New Moon energies. So let's go New Moon in Leo. Even though this reading is timeless, the energy that is pulling on this is the New Moon in Leo. Okay. So, Batmobile. Who is watching the Batmobile? Who's watching Batman? Archer. All right. Here we go. Let's see. Of course, ooh, of course, for all three piles, we are open to the messages that are only for the Batmobile, Kit, and the White Jeep's greatest and highest good. Only por favor. We only fly the friendly skies. I appreciate you all for being here, loving that like, subscribing, leave a comment, let me know, let me know which pile you picked, how it resonated, and what you thought about the outcome. All right, as the deck starts to lock up, let's get it shuffled and do it to it for the Batmobile. All right, two shuffles. One and two. Let's love this deck for the Batmobile. Ooh, the card's already kind of got a little silly here. Let's see what's going on. All right, the bottom of the deck is the Two of Pentacles. Spirit needing to see change, justice to come in below that. Somebody's balancing out with the Ace of Pentacles, um, getting to a point that they could make a new offering come forward. All right, let's see. Let's grab nine cards for the Batmobile. We have the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo Energy, 
to the nine of swords. So nine, nine comes out right out of the gate to the Hierophant. Ooh, knowledge leveling up. This is actually doing some work. Taurus, Gemini, and Virgo energy. So right here, you've got someone coming in hot because they've had you on their mind a lot. Okay. I didn't mean to make that rhyme, but it did. You're stirring a passion in them that they haven't felt in a long time. And they're kind of worried about like where you've gone, what you've done, and where you've been from the point that they've been. They're pretending like they're not worried that you've moved on, Nine of Swords, but they're worried about it because they saw everything with you, and that Ace of Pentacles is hidden underneath the Two of Pentacles down below to make a full Ten Pentacles. So, like here, they're pretending to be as uninterested in you as you are in them. So I'm seeing that you guys are both still interested or curious about each other. So it's like you're both pretending to like not be interested. But there's an interest here. I mean, you picked Batmobile. So let's find out, though. You've got like something here, like the mysteriousness has got them up all night playing Caitlin Petty, staring on the ceiling on repeat, lost inside a feeling, and trying to find something, the, the pink champagne, or it's the pizza, the sporks. Something's up on that ceiling they're staring at. <clears throat> Seven of Pentacles, they feel like they screwed the pooch on this one. Something about this is resonant, and you're both lying about something. Your pants are on fire. Queen of Swords, more Gemini energy. So you guys are both interested in something with the lovers. More Gemini energy. And something here is like just finding blind faith, Five of Swords, because this fight kind of got you all worried or something here. And I'm just, I instantly went right to a fight, Four of Swords. Y'all been dreaming about each other and finding it kind of hard to sleep here. But now this is kind of letting go, letting God, and just kind of having trust and and faith in, in where the universe is going. Because on this Five of Swords here, I'm seeing codependency issues where somebody was told that they needed to grow up, put up, and shut up, um, and, you know, start acting your age, Nine of Pentacles. But they didn't. They got in their feels, and there was still some... Into, uh, come here. Look at how that Nine of Pentacles is stuck. Told you they were stuck in an immaturity level that they needed to work through on this with the Hierophant. They've been working on it here. There were issues here that had them like being forced into doing the work and healing stuff that they didn't realize because they see you as an answer here. This was originally um, the choice before it was the lovers. If you go back into the 1430s when this stuff was all getting developed. So this is somebody that had to go deep in here. I'm seeing having to walk away from multiple toxic issues on this and just in order to heal, like deeper than even just, just the childhood right now here, they may have been forced into being a parent at an early age five to a four swords give me some more on this here where are we going with this one temperance sagittarius energy see something forced them into a point of having to heal having to like be stable at a very very young age here like maybe at a very young age they were forced to be the parent or like they were always just identified as an old soul where they just always like hung out with or connected with people that were older than them as opposed to people their own age. And to have one foot on land and one foot on the water shows that both their emotions and, and, and their, their stability, both the head and the heart chakras, come in balanced here with the Six of Pentacles. So they had to do a lot of work to come to a point of a meeting in the minds on their own. This is healing from a lot of childhood programming like i'm almost pulling six of cups to the six of pentacles on this and with that nine nine i could see how it res would resonate to it and the queen of swords shows back up as i kind of stumbled and fumbled on my words a little bit here yeah someone was forced into having to be an adult before they were an adult and at that point there was a lot of childhood programming that they needed to go through seven pentacles there it is back again so yeah, something that went deeper back here, you both have been going back and forth for a while on this, feeling like you both knew it was the one, or this this could have been something that went somewhere, but like that one thing eluded you, there was just that one thing that brought you both to the point that you had to stop to get this right, page of cups, see, the immaturity comes back out again too, we've got Sagittarius, we've got Cancer and Taurus, Gemini in here as well too with Virgo, but this here shows the immaturity. Somebody wasn't at a queen level at this point here. They were like having to almost act a queen before they had the time to go through the cycles of their lives, the returns and those points in their lives, nine of wands. So now you've got 999 showing up, which is showing a perceived perception and how you both are processing a lot of this. Because remember, the way you look at it is you might see a nine. I'm looking at it here and I could see a six. 
So that six and the nine seems to come in and they're coming in in rows of three. So that brings Nikola Tesla's 369 to method here. So a lot of attractioning and bringing stuff in here. You're both just kind of nervous, page of cups, about taking that first step. Page of cups to temperance. Because like one of y'all are, are unsure if um, you'll be met with resistance. Like both you guys are kind of nervous here that um, if you attempt to call or attempt to text that you're going to be met with queen of swords energy and get yelled at or get you know kind of screamed at but no you, i'm seeing here a whole different story here you guys have been processing because you both have been through way more than you even let the other person know in the time that you were together there were still stories and secrets locked away that had yet to been unturned there's a lot of unwritten contract here that wasn't finished in this one here you're both just really nervous about this but you've really you know been through a lot and it's so it's to be understood it's to be expected here temperance on the lover's card to make a choice to heal and do the work is literally like kind of the definition of the hierophant here so it's expected it's understandable and someone here really likes taking the time to get their nails done i'm pulling that off this temperance card as well as the lovers that it's like almost therapeutic for someone here whether it's a guy or a girl i've known guys that are buds of mine that that they um they're like oh man you should try it and i'm like i'm, I'm okay just not my thing but if it's for you it's cool but it's like what i see is a girl who's like taking the time to pick out the nail color and and the style of the nail and if you want the little stickers uh or airbrushing or which kind of nail in that and it's almost like a therapeutic type of a thing it's like where somebody here gets to have their time to kind of do what they want so you both are being guided through a lot of crap look at the major arcana that's like blanketing over this thing here <clears throat> even how the cards are laid out is something that was meant to happen as it comes in like that here so what it is is you're both being guided through a lot of energetical crap right now knight of swords top gun maverick though danger zone you're trying to you're accomplishing it's a lot of work with the three of wands but you're riding the energy to to bring it there spirits bringing you guys in towards each other here um there's a cord that a bond between the two of you that's very strong here so maybe like family kept putting in their two cents on this now i'm seeing the two energy come in here and in the past there was a lot of that stuff that just needed to be sorted out so that you guys could want the relationship the two of you wanted maybe even at some point here you both needed to break through to let that happen yeah chariot energy that cord i was talking about shows that you guys are mirroring each other even if you don't realize it and like everyone else's opinions doesn't matter onto this one page of wands to allow communication to come in and then on the other side of that to have the balance to realize it see how you both had to go through and do a lot of leveling up with the seven no is that eight of wands that's the eight of wands down there and those sunflowers could even mean something to you too but you both were at a page level at one point and didn't realize like how much stuff was going on that you needed to both you know like work through like on your own and the power couple vibes that tie these cords together is something that keeps the two of you guys going very strong and shows that there's an unconditional love between the two of you guys that's being guided by spirit that cord with the eight of wands on the queen of cups to the hanged man it's just going with the flow to get to that ten of wands point for a new beginning because you both actually want it scorpio and the emperor to aries energy with the high priestess cancer and virgo the bj card is right there so that one comes in with the fool for a new beginning and i could really keep going because the ten of cups is there too this reading does not start to go back in a negative energy you guys come back together and it just keeps getting better at this point so very neat very interesting okay appreciate it thank you very very much for being here batmobile let me know down below how this works out what signs resonate because i pulled gemini cancer sagittarius uh virgo Libra and Aquarius are down here. We've got Taurus and Virgo too, little Capricorn, and um, a little Pisces as well. But so there's a lot of all four of the elements, but they're really kind of balanced. Okay. All right. Let me know. Leave a comment down below. Appreciate it. Thank you very much for being here. All right. So next up, we're going to do the Osset Gypsy deck. What you, you try saying this one three times fast. It's actually, it's quite as a mouthful. Is that all good? Yeah, that's all back. Okay, cool. Thanks. All right, so Osset Chipsy Tarot is Kit, the Night Industries 2000. So let's see what we've got in store for the Kit. If you picked Kit, here we go. Molecular Bonded Shell. All right, so for Pile 2 for Kit. Whoa, okay, the deck just skidded a little bit there. 
Might be the emergency braking system. We'll find out. All right. Let's do it again. Here we go. All right. For Kit. What do we have for Kit? Pulling on that new moon and Leo energy. Um, that's just what's pulling the energy on this. It is indeed timeless and is for you whenever you find it. All right. Let's see here. There's that fool energy coming back. So we're starting to feel a little more revived here. Trying to find a way through with the magician energy. Aries, Virgo, Gemini. That leap of faith is where the start of the deck is here. So there's a lot of emotions that are being worked on because the deck's not really even totally wanting to shuffle that well. So it's like a, kind of a lot of in your head energy when the cards don't want to just poop like that. Okay. See, that's where the, it's starting to see they're getting a little more level minded. And maybe you guys actually have been through a heck of a lot that is stressing you out. That's taking my deck a minute to connect to your energy. All right. Let's see where it goes here. Okay. There we go. All right, for Kit. What do we have for Kit? Could be a lot of energy, a lot of electrical interference here as you guys try to balance, try to stabilize out. Okay. All right, who is watching Kit? Who is looking at Kit? Who's got Kit on their mind? And what do we got here? Let's do it to it. All right, two shuffles. One. Thank you for being here, Kit. Love that like for me. Subscribe, share, and do all the awesomeness. All right, now I feel like two shuffles. One. And two. See, it, it cleared out. It shuffled really good. Let's love this deck for the Night Industries 2000. All right, buddy. What you got for me? Bottom of the deck is the tower. I told you there was a lot of energy up here that had to get this to a point. And I cannot put a good spin on this tower here. Other than that it was meant to happen. It had to happen. Because this thing's on fire. Energy of lightning and all that stuff. There's, there's like craziness coming in here. This person is stressed out about you. Okay, and we've got the King of Pentacles. They are trying to get their act together, trying to ground out, trying to stabilize. Aries, Scorpio, Virgo energy, with the Three of Pentacles, literally doing like everything they can because they want to move towards you. They want you to move towards them. They're but they're totally like unsure of how to go, and they're working on finding their way there with the Moon. This is a new Moon reading too, so maybe even somebody you like like looking more into their moon placements and the signs or the charts of that one here and just getting that deep like maybe they're up all night thinking about you folks and if they've got photos of you or if you do something or post something online they're watching you they like really really want you to move towards them and they're trying to find a way to move out like the emotions for you are really strong here just for the bottom of the deck all right we have the hierophant that connects back over to the first reading too and what I mentioned about like up all night, really three of pentacles in their heads being like, oh my gosh, Kit, what happened to the, to my person? It, it's almost like you disconnected or they feel like you moved on without them and they're totally unsure where they stand. Three of swords. They are totally unsure. I'm already talking about it. And it comes out here, fool. They want you to come towards them. They want to give this another shot. I'm like, like I'm seeing like, one last shot. This is the third time's a charm. This one will work. This will go the distance. And like I keep hearing Britney Spears, you drive them crazy, like on repeat. Like maybe they play that on repeat or something where you have just really got them up in their feels because they really want this new beginning with you. Look at Aries and Taurus energy to that Three of Swords. It's got them really affected here. They feel like you're moving in a totally different direction with this Fool card. And the Three of Swords has is showing that they're trying to like you know any any chance anything they've got anything they can do they they want it they want to go for it four of swords interesting how much it does tie back to the batmobile reading but see i told you they're up at night even with that moon card we saw in the beginning of this one here that they like they might not be letting it show like kind of faking it till they make it four of wands and the four four number comes in on this side here on the kit reading but because like you're their wish you're their safe spot on this one here um yeah it it, it like it really hurts them to think that you're going to move on they they the last thing on their mind is that you're actually here watching a tarot reading about them they they just don't see it you're, you're their wish a twin flame energy shows up um deep soulmate they like they miss those good times and it's hurting them to feel like that you could have four swords moved on yeah death card confirmation scorpio energy so they um they think maybe you told them that maybe you shut them down maybe this was a complete end point and somebody just needed to find their way to get their points back here kind of like dancing with the devil right there and like they might not be letting it show but they miss you because they really feel like you're gone like you've disconnected from them but what i see here with this four of wands is that they don't like they don't speak ill of you like they're not capable of speaking ill of you they just try to 
block out the bad times and remember the good times. You know, they're like really like trying to rise above any negative thought to get through this three to the four of swords. And it's it's a wish that they're manifesting. So you've got somebody on the other side here that the one that you're thinking about that um like they um they got a really deep intuitive connection with the sun. Could be a Leo. Leo energy. See, like they're really in a positive mindset. Something about the Leo season could show up with this too. Now, mind you, strength is Leo's card, but the sun is Leo's dominant rock. And Leo rules the heart chakra with Venus already going retrograde and Mercury getting ready to go retrograde. Their head hasn't exactly caught up to their heart. Their heart knows they love you, knows they want you. That's why they're so crazy about you. But like they never say anything bad about you. They never speak ill of you. If, if you're even brought up, like what I see here is like they really just want to protect you and protect the good times and the good memories of you. So like they just they like just keep you tucked away in a safe place in their head to a wands because they just choose to. They just don't want the others others people's opinions. Ten of Cups. Pisces on Leo energy. Yeah, they keep you emotionally internally to themselves right now because it's just where they feel safe. Four of Wands on that Ten of Cups. They think that this is where they're happy or comfortable. And they would just, they don't like to share their personal life all over the place. Six of Cups. Yeah, they they do they, they, they miss you. It's not like a bad obsession. It's just that like anytime that like 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 that they're down, that they dream a lot about you, Six of Cups to the Sun. And they dream a lot about the good times here. They dream about like a relationship that was like meant to be but never happened. This could have been like an unrequited love or something that they dream about to manifest you guys back together. And you don't even realize it. Yeah, Nine of Cups. Wow. Pisces, Scorpio, a lot of water energy showing up here. They are trying to manifest this. And if you're dreaming about them, which I'm pulling on this, that you are. And being like waking up and being like, yeah, Archer, I, I, I've been dreaming about them more often than I have in a while. I had a dream. Then it's like <clears throat> them manifesting and you guys connecting on a plane through your dreams because there's a cord here that keeps you guys together. So secretively, you guys like both remember the happiness, even though you got to a point that it had to be stopped or something had to happen or change to alter the course. But this dreaminess connection that comes in here is showing that the universe has kind of been waiting for both of you, that this happiness is hanging out right here. The star energy, Aquarius. And this is the August card here. Literally like every freaking Aquarius reading is basically an all signs right now for the month of August. The energies of Lionsgate, Sirius, the star in the sky that's that's just over off to the side of the sun lining up in Orion's belt, the Lionsgate energy. Spirit is, is guiding this. They've been waiting for the both of you because of that contract I mentioned that's still here yet to be filled. Aquarius, Scorpio, Aries, Taurus. There's a lot of twin flame energy into this one. Leo's here too with that sun card. But yeah, I'm hearing here that like they see you as their rock. Like you're their like the best cheerleader that they ever had, and with that star energy and the King of Pentacles who comes back, spirit says they understand that all of this happened for a reason, and it was indeed is indeed all meant to be, and is playing out exactly as it was guided, protected, and told to go. Look who's back, the Tower. Even the bad stuff had to happen, but because like you guys have completed two out of the three steps and like the rest of this all is divine time spirits like running the rest of the show with this one here and you guys have to be ready so that you don't hurt each other again you guys don't want to hurt each other with this sun to the star card those right there don't show negative energy the past will go behind you and like you'll start feeling better about each other on this one here the last of it is that three of pentacles style here that is the last part and i'm picking up that somebody here really, really loved your hair, Nine of Swords. They think a lot about it. There was something about like someone like they would tuck their like they would tuck your hair behind your ear. And that is like their sun card that they really remember that is a good time, Nine of Swords. That they stay up all night, or that's the dream they're having. It's the one that like that that just sticks with them because it was a really good time, or something I'm picking up that even you enjoyed. Now, like they're healing and finding balance on this to make peace with everything with that star card under the sun. And you've got a lot of water down here, Pisces and heavy Scorpio. And then Taurus and Aries were leading out the gate too. But this shows a lot of love, a lot of emotion between you guys. And they feel like that they had the best they ever had with you. They don't know how to bring it up or talk. There could be even distance. Something could be between the two of you guys. Eight of Wands. But there's the cord that connects you guys. This was even in the first reading as well. Batmobile got the Eight of Wands. Sagittarius energy. That 
like like the fear of commitment's over and you guys are going to talk here and like all those stars everything that's happening is allowing things to take shape and take place as they should aquarius under sagittarius energy and then heavy scorpio coming together with the t death and the tower card with the way that i have been energetically pulled to move these cards to read them it has brought the sun the tower and the death card all together much like the stars in orion and orion and orion and his, his sun card leo in orion's belt right there coming lining up to bring in here third time's charm here and that fear of commitment with all this cup energy is over so you got leo you've got scorpio you got taurus and aries you've got big old aquarius coming out here as well and that is a featured card for this month with all the star energies and things that are going on up there so let me know leave a comment down below kit let me know buddy let me know how we did how it resonates what signs you're dealing with and what you think let me know what sign you just which which card you pick all right thank you much appreciate it all right so that's kit and that's the batmobile next and last is the white jeep which gets my little baby light sears deck oh my word I pre-shuffle these before I sit them down on the table and the star cards, the energy at the bottom of the deck. Archer's take a drink card showed up, right? All right, so if you picked the white Jeep, this is the reading that was guided to you. We're going to take a look for white Jeep. Let's see what we got for white Jeep. All right. With this, wow, this deck is really small. I love the size of it, though. And actually, here's the funny part is this is I use it as my car deck because it's small, so it fits in the council of my white Jeep. This deck literally spins its life in the council of a white Jeep, and the white Jeep is the one that got put there. Whoa, see? Look at that. That's cool. Okay. All right, so for white Jeep, what is up here? What do we got for white Jeep with the Light Sears deck? All right. There we go. It's actually a really, really easy deck to shuffle. Look at that. That's really nice. I like it. Thanks, Goodman. All right. Love that light for me. Appreciate you guys. Here we go. Ooh, Queen of Pentacles, the world, Magician, Three of Swords, Eight of Cups. This this reading here, White Jeep, has a lot to say, but it's all good communication. So that Eight of Pentacles, the world, and the Nine of Pentacles wanted to pop out underneath it. Okay, cool. All right, what have we got now for White Jeep? Let's see here. Two shots. Ooh. This deck has a lot to talk about. Okay. Judgment and the star card again jumped out. I'm getting chills freaking all over for this one here. Wow. Five of Pentacles. You guys aren't talking to each other right now either. But you're here, so you're thinking about each other. All right. Two shuffles for White Jeep. One. Two. We're not looking at that one. We're just going for it. Okay. So let's love this deck. For the white jeep here we go bottom of the deck is the nine of swords this is definitely a past person's energy might even connect over to kit's reading but the white jeep got nine swords the energy at the bottom of the deck here this is a past person somebody who is up all night playing caitlin petty staring at the ceiling on repeat trying to find some strength to get through this leo gemini energy and the page of wands they could be front and reacting like it i'm picking up a lot of lies here this is a person here that broke your trust got you to trust them then they lied to you all right let's see ten of wands you had to walk away from them you had to cut this one off here you had to cut them off seven of swords yeah you told them about something you got to a point of being done with them and you told they they would tell you exactly what they what you wanted to hear and then to do that to try to win you over and you picked up you found out on all this you were sent you sent them off into the corner you were so upset you sent them off into the corner on this ten of cups and they had to go out to lift their wounds they were in a place but they see a lot of happiness here with you and they've done a lot of work when you sent them away 10 10 is a connection that comes out and those are both points of completion 10 of wands to walk away from the end from the end of an insane cycle to the 10 of cups which is the point of all the happiness this is like the head chakra and the passion coming in so we've got pisces we've got libra no nope, aquarius take two and we've got sagittarius okay so at that there like this is a point that you gave them that you said this was it. You were done. You had to walk away from it. You had to put this person in their place because you could not take anymore. And like you feared nothing more could come out of this. The wheel. 
the wheel is is literally clearing this out you shutting them down shut them down to the point that they had to do some work and come back on this one here and they had an awakening that freaking would move mountains with the six of cups another one from the kit reading but this one here shows a very deep soulmate connection connection and scorpio energy they they really miss you something about a dog too might resonate with you guys here i see that maybe um dogs are seen as your spiritual animal or there is actually a spirit that that like a, a dog that that follows you guys or is, is one of your pets or both of you have a dog it's like how spirits can like can like be around you it's your spirit animal there you go it's your spirit animal but yeah the only thing left here was to make these lies from the truth because they saw a point of completion with you and had to go lick their wounds to find this happiness. Ten of Cups. They saw it with you and the Eight of Wands. This one has shown up like in all three of these readings as well. That you laid it out in the line and they listened to everything. They This is literally the hyperbole of that they remember every detail of that day. They remember every detail of that day, Six of Cups. And you guys have done this before. And you guys do a reverse flip-flop cycle all the time. Ten wands, ten cups, ten wands, ten cups. And in, in one of the lifetimes, you guys have smooth sailing. You come together. It's high school puppy love. Everything goes great. Then on the next cycle around, you guys come in, and it's going to be a rough one. Do you guys make it through with the ten of wands? Do you get your ten of cups happiness? Where you come back together from the seven of swords? That's what's in their head. That's where they're at, and that's what they're wondering about. They have been through it. This here shows spirit putting all these things in place here that whoa see spirit moves and puts all these things in place to get them to clear their mind they like they realize all the lies that that you found out about them they had to do something about and there was they they don't they don't see you in any way forgiving them and the only thing they could do instead of just sitting there and being silly and apologize because they love you unconditionally is turn all the lies into a truth now in the past they probably had three of pentacles on this here they have been doing a lot of work to bring this in all they could do was bring the lies to the truth on that nine of swords give me more on that give me more on the lies to the truth for it please the devil what's under the devil the hanged man pisces energy capricorn energy the knight of cups cancer something very unique there's a unique connection and they are really obsessed on working on this to do the work to get back they really see that's the only thing in the past in their childhood this page of cups maybe it was somebody that acted really immature it's because their past was something that was a lot they had to work through i see a lot of disconnects at a very early age hanged man with that pisces energy what i'm picking up on is like somebody chariot energy cancer i'm picking up on somebody that maybe had a lot of people transition from an early age maybe a lot of family members close people they might have been from a smaller family and had a lot of a lot of loss in their life where people passed on very early death card at the bottom scorpio you got a lot of water energy in this one here so this put this person into a mindset on this cancer pisces energy that like everybody always leaves them and that when there's a disconnect that it's best to just disconnect because attempting to hold on to something they fear never works out or never happens and they they had been through a non-stop revolving door of trauma with that wheel of fortune on the chariot they kept having situations from a very young age maybe back as far as five seven nine years old something to that effect so it gets to the point that they're on this death card of the two of swords that they always felt like what's the use anytime we try it doesn't happen and there's the ten of swords to the hermit virgo energy along with gemini so they saw this as like a fantasy land that just doesn't exist so many disconnects from the past that they had to deal with this non-stop revolving door of trauma to work through it and it kept them stuck at a point that they didn't think they could come forward out of it and I'm seeing that they had to go really deep back with that six of cups that was under here so much that it pulled out and resonated under the deck as I'm looking at kit still. There's something about the kit reading still on this one here. Hermit card, Virgo energy on the Scorpio energy to a six of pentacles. Wow. Wow, justice. Six, six energy, which that came out in the freaking Batmobile reading. Maybe all these readings tie together. 6-6 six, six was shown up there, and look, it's on each side of the hermit. The Virgo comes in. Yeah, they had to do a lot of inner work to find the balance and the stability to actually bring in exactly what you wanted. And I keep seeing, like, the ring. Seven of Wands, Justice on the Empress to the Eight of Swords, interfering into it. 
yeah like like a promise ring or an engagement ring something that like someone was all in someone wasn't totally quite at that point already because someone then found out with the lovers to the eight of swords that there was a lot of work for cups that needed to be done and we now have all four tens on the table the ten of swords the ten of pentacles ten of cups and the ten of wands so the ten ten connection comes in very heavy that you sent them off packing four four to seven seven to do a lot of work here they reason that they lied to you four of cups the reason that they lied to you six of wands is because they never felt good enough it wasn't so much of like a competition to them it was that they wanted to be on your level they wanted the victory so they like didn't think that they they met you on your level and then at that point they they decided they had to do what they had to do to manifest that victory with the wheel of fortune and put them in their place they didn't mean to do it it was almost like it was the plans and they just were really ahead of the game and it wasn't intended to come out the way it came out but they felt with that justice to the tower that it was the direction they had to go here it does bring in power couple of vibes here though and even on that six of cups that keeps popping up to the service is it an esa animal is it an emergency an emotional support animal i don't know something like that for some reason that six of cups keeps coming up to the surface here and you've got like every energy i'm seeing virgo sagittarius leo cancer um who else is down here gemini's here the empress is fixed energy that's aquarius leo taurus scorpio Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, um, like basically everybody. Yeah, this one, the whole groups here, whole parties here, because I kept feeling compelled to pull more and more cords, cords, cards, because you guys have got like it's a power couple vibe, and I'm thinking, mm, as I'm as I'm saying, I'm thinking you might be experiencing deja vu. The strength card shows back up, which was the energy at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, just go with it. Three of Wands to the Ace of Swords. Like, you guys feel like you've already experienced something before. The day's already happened before, like Groundhog Day. Deja vu when something comes out. Like, even maybe it's resonating into YouTube, where you see a reading, and, like, you swear you've already read the title. Or you swear you've already heard the reading, but you look down and it's like posted an hour ago and you're like, well, that was interesting. I swear I've already heard this. You're both experiencing it. It's back to the future energy as your timelines come around to come back together. Nine of Swords. Remember this? You might remember this from such cards as the beginning of this freaking reading right here. So, yeah. Heavy duty that you're both experiencing this energy that's like meant to bring you back together and get you to that Six of Wands, the Four of Pentacles. You're protected on the Four of Wands another four four which came out in the kit reading i'm seeing that all these tie together onto these ones here so you may want to check everything out because of that four of wands to the four of pentacles you're protected and it's a wish to dream come true on this one this is a total power couple vibe on this one here one of you guys you guys take turns with it or one of you guys comes up with the ideas one of you guys puts it into motion and then you guys work on it together it's a really awesome teamwork making the dream work energy nine of freaking pentacles yeah get that bread because this is definitely something that if you guys make it through it emperor and the empress is right there and i stopped on the emperor then it'll go the freaking distance and there's the sun poking its head out as well too nice all right let me know if that resonated white jeep tell me who you're working with what you're working with and how it's going nice um if the, any of these resonated at all leave a comment down below like share comment subscribe and I set the bell to all notifications because I go live every Sunday night at 9 p.m. for an astrology podcast and every Monday night at 8 p.m. for an all signs from Aries to Pisces. You verse them with one card for each sign. So subscribe, be a part of the familia, and um, come hang out with us. And remember, this will resonate to any and all placements within your chart that you pull because we are FHA compliant here. You are all your signs and placements, and we will read for any sign or placement which desires and inquires. So I will see you next time. Until then, if you would like to book a personal reading with me or see an extended on any one of these, email me for details at archerastrology at gmail.com, where we'll hook up and we'll connect and we'll take it from there. So until next time, Familia, I love you to the moon and back. Peace out, Archer out. Yeah, cheers. See ya.